And as well as Brandon Ingram shoots it, you don't want to fall in love with the three right now. You want to start putting pressure on which of State's Pat Barber, their point guard. And among players in the power conferences. My goodness. It's a lot of basketball. Here's Crawford, the freshman, to Mittiglou in the corner. Noted three-point shooter. He's got it. Got to find him. 38 for and Ingram. You can't forget Derek Thornton as well as um, Kennard. Luke Kennard is all 47 against Georgetown as well. Mittiglou, tremendous three-point shooter. Has the athleticism, and he will gain all the skill necessary playing under Patino. Mittiglou loves that corner three. Thomas going to work out on Oahu, mid of blue. On Friday, we didn't think he was going to play. Mid of blue, his shot blocked by Mitchell. Rick Pitino says they're not quite where they need to be yet, but the zone has really boggled Wake Forest on their, on their offensive end. Mid of blue, 9-3 resume in the non-conference that could allow them, if they have a strong conference season, job done for their respective teams. Mid of glue down low off the feed for Miller and McIntyre. Mid of glue. Awkward hook shot. Just fell behind big in the second half. Came back in that comeback attempt. Fell short. Mid of glue down low. His shot blocked. Crawford, the shot fake. Tries to hoist one up. Mid of glue. Assists. Yeah, Wake Forest averaging about 14 turnovers per game. That's one of the things that becomes a pro issue for them. If you're Wake Forest. High low with Mittigler for Collins. It's the first bucket, but more importantly, his confidence going because he's getting the start tonight. Speaking of confidence. There's Mittigler. He's been quiet. Just one field goal. 15 to shoot. Mittigler shot fake. Working on the smaller lead. Tipped by Spalding. As Randolph Childress led the walkthrough, pulled his team together and said, remember, he is Kevin Durant-like. Rick Pitino, Devin Thomas lit them up for 31 points, 11 rebounds. As we found out yesterday, it's hard to win on the road. Most of the home teams holding serve with the exception of BC. Middleton shots. I, I think I may have been the only person on that plane that did not have on orange. And everybody from Greenville, Spartanburg, Foul trouble, and that puts a lot of pressure on Duke. Miller McIntyre had a mismatch, and Ingram on his back came up empty, but Mittiglou has the offense. I should say, from Dallas, he's off the bench for Wake Forest. Loose ball. Twelfth in the nation in free throws attempted, and certainly first in the ACC. Mittiglou offensive rebound, and the stick back. Bounds after the dunk. Lob to the backside. Collins can't get it. Helps to have children. <laughs> he's got something for everybody. Yeah, I've known him for a long, long time. He's got that rise sense of him. Ian Lee and Trey Lewis for coming in and really taking on that leadership role. And, of course, the new guys with the Cardinals in the season. Under 25%, Danny Manning said after their practice this afternoon. He's a guy who needs to be a glue guy. Get rebounds. Danny Manning when they made the move two seasons ago. Boy, Danny Manning's so proud of the revamped weight room. All state-of-the-art. Equipment and measurements. Plumley may well be the most important player on the floor tonight for the Blue Devils. Kennard. And it as I said, you back off and force them to shoot the three. It looked like nobody is willing for Duke. Willing to Otawaku guarded by Middleglue. Goes to the hole. Oh, he's got to play through some mistakes. He had two games back to back where he had seven turnovers and eight turnovers, but without someone else, seven to shoot. Mitchell has his shot blocked. There's a drive once again, not settling. There's Damian Lee, graduate transfer from Drexel, averaging 18 a game to lead Louisville. You're going to have to be concerned about protecting the rim. They have guys that are going to go try to block your shot. These are not a group that's going to take charges. Johnson from the wing, offensive rebound, Lee! You can care less how it gets there as long as it goes in. 
Lewis playing with that bad ankle. Here's the front. Hello, McIntyre, Shade Snyder gets some help from Middaglou. Johnson driving all the way off the window. For Mitchell splits the defense, lost the handle, recovers. Offensive of guys that can score on the interior as well. So when they get my thing back, this could be a complete group. Schneider beat the shot. Moore coming up with a huge putback. Here's Schneider. Shot clock running down. He's sworn. Comes back to Spalding up top. Mitchell on the wing. Mitchell for three. Spalding to be able to win this game. Snyder spinning his shot blocked by Thomas. He has shown it, of course, stepping up, knocking out a big three pointer. Here's Mitchell and Louisville. Now for Thornton with the drop off, and Plumley flushes it too. Well, again, it was excellent positioning by Plumley. Second time the drop off has been there. Allen goes away from the ball screen and you're thinking if you wake Forrest you got a guy that is totally destroying the other team you should take a look at nice move but two times in a row they forget he's on the floor Thomas went for the steal and Plumley ends up at the bottom to drive away from Duke and maybe force him to take the three they were five of ten at half they've been over five here in the second half Allen takes the drive. Dirt has taken off. And, and, and just that, of course, as a freshman point guard, you get an opportunity to play. He couldn't score, handing it off to Devin Thomas to get the big man in the early basket. Schneider in the paint. Oh, no. Snyder did not have a basket. And the loss to Louisville last weekend, or the loss to Kentucky. For Woodwich Simmons. He, he's not always as aggressive as he. Here's Mitchell, strong to the basket, over the trees. His team gets the best shot possible. Lee again, in and out. Get an early opportunity. Wake stays in his own. And look, here's Lee, it's been a quiet night for him. Spalding lost it, Wake will get it back. It's early in this game. But to come out of the timeout knock down two back-to-back -back three pointers has been bad decisions as well. Well, it's okay to try to attack early, but you want your guards doing it. You don't want Devin Thomas to be to Adele. Mitchell gets it back, pops the three way off. Middaglu with the outlet. The advanced metrics all love Louisville. They've beat up on weaker competition as Onowaku misses his first shot. The referees have done a very good job for controlling this game tonight. Lee misses. Floater doesn't go. Onowaku there's the offensive rebound. It doesn't go. You see now he's learning to get good on the defensive end. Spalding has been a menace in the passing lanes. Mitchell cannot convert. And Middleglue snares it. And there's Spalding.